to come and just share God's word and speak life and speak faith and speak power into your life. Because I know that with Jesus, all things are possible. We have to kick the spirit of fear out of our hearts, out of our minds, and out of this nation. When we don't fear, we will be able to defeat this COVID-19. First signs of demon activity is fear. I hope you can join faith with me and say we defeat the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Faith is an unstoppable, supernatural, and invisible power that is working in your life. It's supposed to be on the big things and the small things at the same time. Faith is an unstoppable, supernatural, and invisible power that is working in us. But what is faith? It is a spirit. The spirit of faith. There are over 365 fear knots in the Bible. For every day, there is a fear knot for you. And I'm here to tell you as a man of God that don't fear. Don't walk in fear. Fear not. That's what Jesus is telling you. Fear not. Speak into your spirit. I inject into your spirit. Instead of fear, receive faith. Instead of fear, receive power. Instead of fear, receive love in the name of Jesus. Wow, a very, very good morning to you. Hope you're doing very well and you've already woken up. This is such a special day. Why? Yeah. Because this is the day of the Lord. Wow. And I hope that you are ready, you are excited to just come um, to just come and sit on your living room or wherever or whichever place that you are in. This is Harvest Family Church and we are coming to you live from our studios in Ongata, Rongai, Karibu. Sana. Please make sure you stand. I hope you're not seated on your bed or you're still lying on your bed. Please make sure you wake up because this is a church service and this is church beyond the four walls. If you're joining us for the very first time, Karibuni Sana and welcome to Harvest Family Church. This is where we compel, raise and release. We will love it for you to just continue staying connected with us throughout this entire virtual service. You being here is definitely not a mistake. We have so much in store for you today throughout this worship experience. We have testimonies that are lined up just for you. We have an amazing praise and worship team that has been practicing to take you into the presence of God and we have such an anointed man of God called Pastor Jimmy Mashari. He is such a great man of God and he believes in mega churches and today he is about to preach to us and lead us into another new realm in the spirit. So be sure to tune in throughout this entire live stream and you will be blessed and we will be blessed together. After this COVID pandemic is over, we will love it if you will be Become our member and to do that you can simply visit our headquarters that is located in Ongata Rungai opposite Laser Hill Academy 300 meters from the road or you can contact us on the number that will appear on your screen just call us or text us or WhatsApp us and we will just get in touch with you and we will enjoy this life together Wow, thank you so much, Baraka, for that. And just in case you're there and you've just tuned in from KBC Channel 1, our man of God has been preaching today from KBC from exactly 8 o'clock. And we would like to say Karibu Sana. Thank you so, so much for tuning again here at Harvest Family Church. We are so excited. We are so glad to have you. And guess what? Today, our man of God has something wow. very special <laughs> hey. for each and every every person on this live broadcast today he's beginning a new series wow. you can imagine that's amazing like we are going to the next month which is the month of june and wow. guess what he's starting a new series today known as 
faith, right believing. Without wow. faith, there is nothing that you can do. You know, without faith again, you can never please God. You can only please God when you have faith. I don't know what you're trusting God for today, or I don't know what you've been trusting God for for a very long time by faith you can be able to achieve it. So yes. I would like you to be very, very expectant because our man of God has a Rema word, a Rema word that will take you to the next level, a Rema word that will activate Amen. your faith. If Amen. you've been having very small faith, I believe after watching this yes. broadcast, your faith will be expanded Amen. and you'll begin wow. to just believe God for big things, greater things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Last week, we asked a couple of you to send us a video telling us how your faith has been increased by tuning in for this church beyond the four walls worship experience and we receive a couple of videos from you that we want to share but before we go to the other side of the studio where we'll be able to view these videos we want to read a few comments from those of you that have joined us this very morning wow we have whitney saying tuned in from Naivasha already expect and thank you so so much Whitney for tuning in Jerry Jackson telling us good morning Pastor Daisy and Brian happy to see you I am ready to be blessed today mm -hmm. thank you so much for tuning in we want to encourage you to share this live broadcast with your friends with your family and with everybody within your circles let us have church beyond the four walls and right now we want to take you to the other side of the studio where we have a video prepared by our media team of Lillian Marete and Prudence Gatwiri enjoy the video is Prudence Gatwiri serving in ushering department the Archive Church. Let me first of all start by thanking God because of my spiritual parents, mom and dad, I love you so much and I thank God because of you for bringing us church into our homes, praying together with us, always being there for us, you know, to encourage us through the word of God, to teach us, you know, to stand together with us even during this season. I thank God for you. Church Beyond the Four Worlds has been, has helped me to become more strong even during this season. You know, there are so many people who are discouraged. They don't know what to do during this season. But I thank God because of my church. I thank God because of church beyond the four walls. I have been able to get encouraged more even during this season. I have been able to become more strong. I have been able to pray more and I thank God. My relationship with God has been restored. It has been so amazing. I thank God because of that. You know, before this pandemic started, we used to have a lot of things to do. You used to have put a lot of excuses, no time to pray, no time with God, no time to read the word of God. But this season, I have been able to pray more. I have been able to hear God more. I have been able to go deeper into the word of God and it has really helped my spirituality. I have become more strong. And by the grace of God, I have never remained the same. Church uh, Beyond the Four Walls has been an amazing experience. Um, I really thank God, uh, you know, after this outbreak of the corona pandemic, there was this fear that uh, we may never have church again. And for us, I can tell you, church was like a lifestyle, is a lifestyle. We spend a lot of time in church. We enjoy being in church. And so this sudden idea of not having to be in church was really frightening. But by the grace of God, the wisdom uh, and the wisdom of a man of God, We've been able to have a church in our homes as family. Actually, we've really enjoyed ourselves. We have never missed any session. We have been, um, we've been attending even the midweek services. For me, I even live um, a bit far from church. So sometimes I didn't even used to manage the midweek services. But now I'm able to watch all the services and follow. My faith has grown. I thank God. I read more inspirational Christian books. I read the word more. I pray more with my children. I really thank God for church beyond the four walls. I live um, a bit far from church, so sometimes I didn't even used to manage the midweek services. But now I'm able to watch all the services and follow. 
my faith has grown. Okay. Yes, I have grown. I read more inspirational Christian books. Wow, that is such a powerful testimony by Lillian Marete and Prudence Gaturi. I hope they have really encouraged you. You know, yeah. despite you know the churches being closed, they have been faithful in just yes. watching, you know, all the services that we have. Yeah, you know, it's so amazing that people are now more connected yes. during this church beyond the four walls than they were mm -hmm. when we were actually having the the online the real physical services. That's right. That's really That's amazing. Right. Wow. So we can tell that our man of God has really helped us to become more connected. I remember Prudence just told us that her faith has actually increased. She's been able to pray more. Mm -hmm. And that is such an amazing testimony just to hear. Wow, that's, that's amazing. It's beautiful. Today we have so many testimonies lined up for you. Are you ready for this next testimony by Jerry Jackson and Kevin Alesh? Please take us away. My name is Jerry Jackson, and I'm a daughter in this house, Harvest Family Church. And I thank the Lord because of this far that he has taken us. It's not, it has not been easy the last three months because we've not been able to attend, uh, to attend physically in church. But I thank the Lord because of our man of God, Pastor Jimmy Masharia. He has engaged us in church beyond the four walls, and he has been teaching us and laboring for us each and every day. And now we've been having services on Sunday, on Tuesday, Biazo service, on Friday, Biazo prayers, KD on Saturday. And it's been amazing, amazing, amazing. Because as a family, we've now, we are now able to engage ourselves virtually. We are able to watch the services online. And uh, during these uncertain times, we've been able to to get encouraged and to feel that we are together and um, it's been powerful. Uh, the anointing has been devolved in our houses and also we've erected altars in our in our houses which has been very, very powerful. So I thank the Lord because of our man of God, Pastor Jimmy Masharia, and also our mom, Pastor Masi, because they have labored to ensure that all of us are well fed and all of us are warm. Uh, we've not been cold, we've not been malnourished. So we thank the Lord because of these prophets in our lives. So yes, we've been having church beyond the four walls and it's been amazing, amazing. And we thank the Lord because of that. Amen. Hi guys, my name is Kevin Alesh. I'm a son in this ministry. I'm so grateful to be a son under Pastor Jimmy since the churches were closed. My faith has been able to, to increase by being connected by the grace of God. But what I miss mostly is the fellowship of the gathering of others. When we come together, we hug one another. I've also missed receiving physically. I receive it, you know, when, you know, when dad releases the word, we receive it with energy and strength. That's the part I've been missing. But I believe we are coming back. Remember to stay on top because that's where you and I do belong. Uh, wow, wow, that was such an amazing testimony from Kevin Alesh and then Jerry Jackson. You know, especially when Kevin Alesh said what he misses most is just receiving the word. I tell you, that is such a nice feeling to be back in church and to just be able to receive the word physically. That was such a nice one, Kevin Alesh. <laughs> Wow, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. And please, this is Church Beyond the Four Walls and we would like you to just keep on sharing this broadcast with as many people as possible. And kindly make sure you call somebody, somebody that you know should be watching this service. Take this time and just call them and tell them something great, something amazing yes. is about to happen. We told you that today we have quite a number of testimonies. Maybe you can tell us who's next. Well, before we, before we tell you who will be next, we want to encourage you to share this awesome. live broadcast with so many people. Share it with your friends. You can also comment down below and tell us where you're watching us from. As the praise and worship team is just leading us into the presence of God, you can sing along with them and let us have church beyond the four walls together. Remember that your home is now an altar. And right now, before we, we listen to the other testimony, we want to send you over to the other side of the studio where our praise and worship team has been preparing preparing for us. Take it away, Pastor Charles. This morning, Father, we give you glory. We love you this morning, Lord, we give you praise. Why don't you lift up your voice this morning, begin to bless. Declare over your life that my God is strong. My God is mighty. Declare in your life that God is with me. He's strong. 
and everything is possible in my life. Declare victory over your life. We worship you this morning. Oh yes, lift up your voices and begin to tell him like God, you're an awesome God. You're a holy God. You're a mighty God. Come on, let's exalt him. Exalt the King of Kings. Father, we give you glory this morning. Yeah. Lose yourself and begin to love on him. Let's sing together. My God. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. He's a wonderful God. Declare my God. My God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. He's strength when I'm weak.
God. My God is awesome. He can, he can move my Keep me the falling in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Why don't you clap your hands, give him praise, give him praise. He's an awesome God. Declare, Father, you are awesome. Anything you want him to become, he can become. Declare that God, you are mighty, you are holy in my life, you are great, you are strong, you are mighty. Come on, come on, declare it, declare it. Declare, Lord, you're my deliverer, you're my provider, you're my way maker, you're my keeper, you're my lifter. Come on, declare all those things, declare it, declare it over your life this morning. Bless him, bless him, exalt him. Tell him, Lord, I give you glory, give you praise this morning. Ah. I bless you, I bless your name. You're my awesome God, you're my awesome King. Oh God, we give you praise, we give you praise. Don't be quiet, don't be quiet. For some few more seconds, declare Father, my deliverer, my keeper, my sustainer, my Lord, my provider, my way maker. That's who you are to me. I give you glory. You're my salvation, the rock of my salvation, my refuge, my hiding place. This morning I'm not alone, God. I give you glory. I bless your name, I bless your name, I bless your name. We give you glory, we give you praise, Jesus. There is none like you. I want you to declare at home that my God is an awesome God. Let's say it together. My God is an awesome God. One more time declare it. My God is an awesome God. Come on, I want you to shout it out. Let every devil hear you shouting out. Declare one, two. My God is an awesome God. To praise him oh, yes. are you sure you're ready to praise yes. him yes. the bible calls us more than conquerors Amen. the bible declares we are winners oh, yes. turn around and to some or somewhere turn to your neighbor tell my neighbor, my neighbor. My neighbor. This, morning, this morning you have overcome you have, overcome. You have not been overcome you have, not been overcome. You have overcome. overcome are you ready to praise him oh, yes. all right let's do it worship Shindi kwa 
kwake ushindi kwake Yesu kuna ushindi ushindi kwake ushindi kwake ushindi kwake Yesu kuna ushindi aliye ndani yangu Aidia wote ni mkuu Alikufa kwa ajili yetu Jesus, be happy, smile, tell your neighbor, please don't disturb me, we are in the service, amen, and I know God will bless us, today is a tremendous day, and something is about to take place in your life, and you will never be the same again, amen, and now I want to encourage us kindly, share this broadcast, please share, go to your phone right now, and share, invite as many people, send to whatever group, Facebook, like, if I go to Facebook now, you will be able to see Harvest Family Church, Jimmy Mashari, everywhere. You will be able to see this live service everywhere. So share, send it on text messages in the name of Jesus. Look, today, decide that I will not share less than or less than 10 people. More, I will give it to more than 10 people so that we can have many of us joining the service and God will bless us. Listen, somebody is about to get a testimony because you share this broadcast so do that and i know god will bless us amen we have amazing things ready for us here and i know you will be you will enjoy the experience and god will bless us amen i just want to read to, for us a quick verse here psalms 20 verse 2 psalms 20 verse 2 uh the bible says may supernatural help be sent from his 
sanctuary. May he support you from Zion's fortress. So today, I want to tell you this. Expect supernatural support and help to come your way in Jesus' name. So stay there, believe, engage, like, comment. You know, let us engage. This is our church. So everything we are doing is on that platform. So let us do that. We are both on Facebook and YouTube. Whichever suits you, please send it to somebody. Use it. Be involved in the house. Let there be order because we are in the service. Amen. And now we, we want to go watch our news. But before that, we have a powerful testimony. Somebody received supernatural support and help from the sanctuary as the preaching was going on. And I want us to listen to that testimony by Ken Kibunja. Welcome. Good morning, Harvesters. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Kenneth Kibunja, and I'm a member of Harvest Family Church. And I just want to touch on the virtual services, my faith and belief. I thank uh, the media team for channeling all, this, all the services through YouTube and Facebook channels. I had a, a debt, <laughs> a company debt, a business debt of like 277,000 and that was back in March and I couldn't and when this uh, disease happened or this COVID-19 happened it like sealed the deal because I was forced to shut down my business and I did not know what to do and I could not rely on myself so all I had was prayer and I prayed about it and I shared this with dad, I prayed about it and what made the difference is that I activated my faith, I acted upon my faith and I believed on the issue that I had, that it would be done by God's power and it has worked and right now my the debt, first the debt was reduced by half and now the debt is being paid by my aunt of who she did not know about. I did not tell her anything. I just got a call out of the blue and she called me and she invited me and my wife and she sat us down and she was asking us what we are going through and I explained it to her. Uh, to fast forward after explaining everything, she, she just told me that she would pay off my debt and <laughs> well, she will pay off my debt, business debt, from two hundred seventy-seven thousand to zero. So I thank you, I thank you, Dad, and I thank you, Mom, for your prayers also, because there's a time that you prayed for me and my family, and now it is working. Uh, I can't explain that. That's between me and Mom. So. Um, I thank you. I thank you all and I thank you for the Piazzo uh, services online, the, the virtual services, uh, Church Beyond the Four Walls. I thank you, Brian. I thank you, Daisy. Uh, I have an issue with that because now it seems that Pastor Daisy and Brian are the same height on screen. So we don't know whether it is Pastor Daisy who has grown or Brian who is kneeling down. But anyway... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So, Wow, what a powerful testimony from Ken Kibunja. You know, his faith got increased because of listening to this virtual experience. But I have a question for you, Pastor Daisy. Please ask. You know, Ken Kibunja noticed that you've all of a sudden grown taller than I am. Only by faith can you. <laughs> Ken Kibuja, please have faith that I've grown taller. I'll wow. see you very soon when the churches, you know, come back. Right wow. now, we're going to go straight into the announcement. And the, annou and the first announcement is that we have something very special for the children's church, which is live right now on Harvest TV Kenya. So if you're a parent and you're watching and you have another device, please make sure you log your children to Harvest TV Kenya. We have our teachers there ready with the lessons and I believe that your children will be blessed and their lives will never be the same again. You know, another way of increasing your faith is by listening to sermons. And we want to encourage you to download podcasts today and just 
simply do that by going to Google Play Store or App Store on your Android device or iOS. And then this way you'll be able to stay connected with Pastor Jimmy Masharia and get to listen to all the sermons that he has been preaching. You'll get to listen to some of the series that he has done previously. And this way your faith will be increased and your life will ultimately become a better life. Wow, thank you so much for that. And right now, I just want you guys to be so expectant because we are going on to the next level. So for the next time, yeah, just share, share the broadcast again. Tell somebody who needs to watch this live broadcast that our daddy, Pastor Jimmy Masharia, is about to start, yeah? And today he is starting a new series. So right about now, I'm gonna take you to the other side of the studio where our singing star is very ready for you. You can sing along, you can comment, you can like, you can share, and just make sure so many people get to watch this live broadcast. So keep on sharing and God is gonna bless so let's go on to the other side of the studio and enjoy some music with Lady Pastor. Hi, we are the Karanjas and we bless the Lord for the online service. We really enjoy watching service from home and uh, we thank God for this uh, wonderful privilege to see our man of God and to meet him online. We connect with our man of God, we connect with the praise and worship and we get to pray together and to listen to the word of God as a family and we thank God so much for the online service. Giles, we are so happy that we are able to watch the service through online service. Uh, we are able to connect with other family church members through online. We are able to fellowship together through prison worship to hear the word of God by our dad, Pastor Jimmy Masharia, and we are so blessed. In fact, during this quarantine period, for us, we, are, we have not missed any service, and our lives have really changed. We have run so many things and as a family, we are so blessed. Tree. And there he wasted his substance 
to receive, be quick to understand. You must be quick to humble yourself, be quick to yield yourself. You must be quick to believe, be quick to obey. You must be quick to change your mind, you must be quick to heal. Be quick to understand You must be quick to humble yourself Be quick to yield yourself Can be forsaken 
try to do the same but fail only by faith can you do certain things oh yeah faith changes everything your faith is your secret weapon so walk by faith and live singing star pastor Liz. come on appreciate her appreciate her amen amen and i want to see those hands clapping on our page or come on i want to see those hands clapping we can't know whether you're appreciating her we are doing that in our platform so kindly do that in jesus name amen amen and for those who have problem and are sending messages whatsapp saying about what we are wearing you know the stunners look the rest followed me. I was having them before. <laughs> so you can also wear yours. Amen. So let's keep engaging. And I know God will bless us. Amen. I know you have been blessed by the testimonies. We have been blessed by the testimonies. Have you been blessed by the testimonies? Can you do this? Can you do this? Send it on, on our page. Listen. Those testimonies are as a result of the people who are not getting our message here like any words or anything. They are receiving it as the word of God. They are believing it. They are keen to watch. They don't allow people to distract them. They arm themselves with the faith of God inside knowing that whatever the man of God says will come to pass in their life. So take this service serious. Take this live broadcast serious because through this media you will be blessed power in the name of Jesus so a testimony is also coming your way because God's power is moving from his sanctuary and coming to touch you and to change your life in Jesus name now we have come to that place of uh, you know receiving from the heaven what has been prepared for us manna powerful food and I hope you are ready with your notebook with your iPad with your tablet be ready to hear what the Lord is saying write it down and I know God will bless us amen I want to read from the book of John chapter 6 verse 28 and I want to use this version listen what he says they replied so what should we do if we want to do God's work what should we do if we want to do amazing things we want to do miracles we want we want God to be happy with us verse 29 Jesus answered the work you can do for God starts with believing in the one he has said can you read that again Jesus answered the work you can do for God starts with believing in the one he has sent so if you want to do God's work you must believe in the messenger that he sends your way so when you believe the Bible says you shall be established you shall prosper and I see that happening in your life in the name of Jesus as you believe in the messenger of God as you believe in our prophet something will jump from him and come and hit you and you will be transformed and you will see signs and wonders in your life in Jesus name I want us to stand as we honor the prophet of God wherever we are watching from come on stand and help me now welcome to this place our senior pastor pastor Jimmy Masharia I expect a miracle
One more time, I expect a miracle. I expect a miracle today. Nothing is impossible to those who believe and say. I believe. I believe God's word is still the same. I want you to rise up on your feet and I want you to clap your hands for Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes. I want you to just, you know, add some, some, some cheers, some, we give you some praise in your house. We give you praise, Jesus. Oh, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you praise. Beautiful. I expect a miracle today. And I know that I will receive it today in the name of Jesus. Why don't you take a minute and tell the Lord, Lord, I believe in you. I believe in your word. I believe that you are a miracle working God. I'm expecting a beautiful miracle in my life. Tell him, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Everybody in the house, please rise up wherever you are. Move around and tell the Lord, Lord, I love you. Lord, I bless your name. Lord, I exalt you. Just a few more seconds. Tell him, Father, you are mine. You are my God. You are my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. We expect a miracle in this nation. We expect a miracle in our homes. We expect a miracle in our lives. Shaman Oh yes, Lord, oh yes, Lord. We in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for your presence. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your anointing. And Father, we thank you that everybody whoever they are wherever they are they will experience your glory your power in their homes in the name of jesus christ so thank you father we bless you we honor you for giving us another sunday another sunday it's been over three months oh god and you have kept us you have shielded us why don't you take another second to say thank you to god for watching over you at least you have not been in the icu you have not been in the hospital you have not lacked at least a meal in your house why don't you take a minute i know you might be worried on what is going to happen but look at what the lord has already done and tell him thank you father thank you father thank you we give you all the glory and all the honor in jesus name now lift up your hands and make confession with me where is my confession we are doing our our greetings it is my year of piazzo forceful advancement that is also my portion in christ jesus then in 2020 whether you, it, there is COVID-19 or no COVID-19, uh -huh. you will forcefully advance Amen. in your spiritual life, Amen. financial life, Amen. and your family life, Amen. and all around your life. Amen. The same shall be your portion. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Why don't you clap your hands for Jesus? We amen. give you glory. 
Now lift up your right hand and say, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. I am. I am. Who God says, who God I, says am. I am. I am provided for. I am provided for. I am not a beggar. <laughs> I'm not a beggar. I'm not poor. I am not My poor. My debts are paid. My debts are paid. My God. My God. Shall supply. Shall supply. All my needs. All my needs. According to his riches in According glory. According to his riches in glory. When I go out. When I go out. I am highly favored. I am highly favored. When I favored. come back in. When I come back in. I come back in with spoils. I come back in with spoils. And I will be highly favored as well. I will be highly favored as well. I am well. too anointed. I'm too anointed. I'm too blessed. I'm too blessed. To be cast. To be cast. In Jesus name. In Jesus Say, today, name. Today. Today. I'll be taught the word of God. I'll be taught the word of God. And my life. And my life. Will never. Will never. Ever. 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 Be the same again. Be the same again. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And give Jesus a praise in the house. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Now, as you're sitting, if you're there and you have not shared our broadcast, whether you are on YouTube or whether you are on Facebook, it doesn't matter. Sharing does not take your bundles more, it doesn't take more of your bundles. No, 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 no. Rather, it might also actually take your bundles for not sharing. Are you listening to me? So I want you to take this opportunity to share this page. And if you're watching me and you're not sharing, you're not a nice person. You are a disobedient person. Yeah, you must be quick to obey. And you must be quick to understand. And you must be quick to change your mind. You know, you might have made your mind that I will never use Facebook. I will never whatever. But now, this season, you must be quick to change your mind and realize that you must use Facebook. Yeah, and you must be part of what is happening through Facebook or through Instagram or through YouTube. That's how life is going to be for a long time. Amen. And I want you to also accept that, you know, don't sit waiting for things to change. Actually, almost imagine that things might not change so that you become more able to, to acclimatize and to move into what God is calling us to move into. You know, because sometimes we, 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 with the hope of things will go back to normal, you, you miss out on the opportunity of the now. So because you are not coming to church, make church in your house. Let me come into your sitting room. Let me be speaking in your bedroom. Let me be speaking in your toilet. Oh yeah. And you will see that you will be a different person from the ones who don't have anybody speaking into their lives. So I want us to share, 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 share until the world knows that there is a harvest family church somewhere and things are happening. It is happening as well. Amen. Amen. I also want to make an announcement that we are still doing our building and today I want to take an offering at the end a special offering towards our building and and other things that TGL is building they are putting up a huge sanctuary huge and it's happening as a, as a, as we are talking now you know on on i think 2 days ago or yesterday they had a crane there you know to lift uh, the trusses you know uh, 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 and to and the pillars and they're huge. Pastor Bonnie was telling me our our church is huge. I said, you are joking. It will be full just now. It will be so small right now. So I want you to become part of what we are doing. Then don't fall off. Don't fall off when the message is moving and when the preaching is going on. Because I have something to say to you. And I believe that God is going to change your life forever. Amen. So don't fall off. Don't fall off. And I'm sure God is going to bless you. I'm also told that our food bank has reached almost 300 families. Every week some family is being touched by your giving. And we thank God for that grace that is, hap that is here. Amen. And the love that God has given us for the people beautiful and then of course on Tuesday now with this new series I'll be preaching I'll try and preach on 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 Tuesday on faith I'm gonna do faith throughout faith is so broad and big 
and I feel that it's a very important subject. So Tuesday, Friday, let's meet, because and then Sunday it will be faith. So don't be left out on any of those days. It's a it's a series that will change your life forever, and I can assure you it will change your life forever. Beautiful, Amen. Father, thank you for this opportunity uh, that we have to hear your word. We pray that Lord, as we speak, that you give us utterance and that your spirit is going to come upon us and everybody will understand the message make it so clear so that a young child can understand it in the name of Jesus Christ and everybody says amen 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 now faith is going to be a series that I will do for some time uh, and this is because I feel that that's what the Lord wants you to learn you are where you are because of what you know are you listening to me and then you have the experiences you have depending on the wisdom you have of what you know you know what you know how do you put it into practice the practical ways of putting what you know into practice then that makes you a wise person because some people have are puffed up with knowledge but they don't know how to activate the knowledge and that is why Ken Kibuja said, I activated my faith. So that means that there was something practical that he did that brought about the results that he got. So you will only get the results you want to get depending on how practical you are in terms of application of what you know. And I want you to know that God is going to deposit something in your life that will change your life forever now faith is a very broad subject books have been written about it i don't know of any man of god who has never spoken about faith but today i want to share with you different angles of faith that will bless your life first of all we are going to know to, to look at what faith can do before even we go to what is this faith you know we are going to look at what faith can do for you but before i do that let me just give you a simple definition of the word faith now this faith is believing just believing when you say have faith you say believe just believe you know it sounds easy to tell somebody believe but many people struggle with believing especially believing something that you don't have proof of are you listening to me so like I believe that God will supply my needs how I don't I don't have proof but I just have uh, that belief I believe that Jesus died on the cross were you there no did you see him no I have just come to a place where I believe that that actually happened do you understand I believe that Jesus is a son of God I believe that uh, uh, that he's coming back again I believe that there is a heaven there is a hell have you been there no I have not seen it but I believe so that aspect is a very difficult aspect in many people's lives but I want to say this if you want to live a life that is extraordinary an extraordinary life you must move out of the reality of the way things are supposed to be done according to the world and enter into another special way of life and that is the life of faith the life of faith the life of faith makes you like a magician the life of faith makes you look like almost uh, uh, like a, a, a supernatural human uh, or being a supernatural being somebody who doesn't live within the economy of that nation you don't live within the politics of that nation are you listening to me so it doesn't matter which tribe is the leader of the nation or not it doesn't matter whether the economy is low or the economy is high it doesn't matter what matter is, it matters is your faith your faith what do you believe so faith is believing believing and in this case we are talking about believing in god believing in god i pray that after this series your life will move seven steps higher yeah 
yeah yeah because you'll stop living based on your papers based on your education you know you will go to school you will you will you will be educated you will be employed but you will see that your life will be a higher kind of life and it is possible i don't know why you don't believe these things your life can be a higher life yeah you can have a higher life amen a higher life that does not live by your salary a higher life that does not live by your employment you are employed but they can't explain how so faith is also trusting faith is also trusting in something or oh God when you say I am a man of faith you're saying you are trusting God I trust God I trust him I trust him with my life I trust him with my marriage I trust him with my children do you understand and when you look at some people you can see that these people actually don't trust God yeah, 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 yeah. You can see that how you behave, how you 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 treat your children like eggs, is a clear sign that you don't trust. That actually, there's you want to do it yourself. How you treat your husband with suspicion, and 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 you become like a like a, a FBI, FBI, CD, DCI, <laughs> your NIS always investigating him it is because you don't trust that actually god can take care of this man and control him so you see that a lot of us we say we are christians but we lack the main element that makes christianity different and what element is that faith faith is complete trust i mean like i trust god that he will never fail me I trust him that he will not allow me to go hungry. I trust him that I will find school fees. Hey, but Pastor, how? What are, what are the things you are doing? I don't know. I just trust. I have faith in God. Hallelujah. May you receive that, that thing in your spirit. Mm, and what I'm speaking is not something I've read. It is something I live by faith yeah and 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 i live by faith I, I mean it's amazing you can live that life too hallelujah so what are the what are the things that when you begin to walk by faith what will happen to you what will start happening to you what what are the changes that will take in uh, uh, place in your life would you like to know what happens yeah when i change my mind i say look what well, i've been trusting on my business i've been putting my trust on my own strength i've been putting trust on my parents i've been putting trust on uh, 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 education i put my, my 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 trust on my uncle who lives in um, minnesota <laughs> And he's a Minnesota buyer. You know? Yeah, I put my trust on Bonga Points. I put my trust on, on Fuliza. I put, I mean, I know that the bank will take care of me, ladies and gentlemen, or my job. And that is why you see some people, when they lose job, they become devastated. Because they, they, they don't know that, hey, your faith is not in the job you're doing. Your hope is not in that job. Yeah. So what will happen to you? Would you like to know? I have six points today. So I hope that uh, you'll be able to receive them. Yeah. Faith changes everything. Yeah. You see, when, 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 when you pray, for example, it's a sign of faith. Yeah. It's like, it's, that's why many people don't pray. Or their prayer is just a superficial prayer. It's not deep. Is a religious prayer. You know, you say, Oh, our Father who art in heaven, oh, hello, where be thy name? Even as I'm praying that, our Father, I still feel like I want to go deeper in our Father who art in heaven. Because I have so much faith that is there and is listening and I'm communing with Him. But you see, some of you, it's a recital. 
it's a recital that is why you have never seen the true effects of God's power in our lives and that is why some of us we can never receive anything from God oh yeah can I read it for you a scripture James chapter um, um, James uh, or Romans actually I don't know whether it's Romans James chapter 1 verse 8 I think if I'm not wrong the Bible says that if any one of you lacks wisdom 8 1 8 brother huh? okay let's start from verse 5 then okay that, now look at this scripture if any one of you lacks wisdom wisdom which is another another wild blessing that you can have in your life if you can just receive and you see to receive this wisdom also you need faith <laughs> so anyone who lacks wisdom and wisdom is the principal thing it is far far more precious than gold and silver so if you have wisdom you have gold you have silver it's like you get wisdom you get everything so the Bible says somebody who lacks wisdom let him ask of God so it takes faith to ask a God you cannot see you close your eyes you say you pray for one hour to somebody who's not responding to you and the Bible says this God gives to all liberally without reproach and it will be given to him verse 6 but let him ask in what in faith with no doubting with no doubting doubting for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind that is why you cannot find stability because you are not fully persuaded about what you are involved in for example in the faith in the Christianity you're involved in you are tossed like this wind but uh, like the waves of the sea driven and tossed by the wind and then the so you ask in faith and then continue for let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord and but why is it that I've never received anything anything I have I have to really struggle I have to ask for loans because of your doubts so the Bible says let not that man suppose the man who prays and doubts you can even pray and still doubt the Bible says don't expect anything from the Lord verse 8 why because he is double minded a man who is unstable in all his ways that is why many people cannot walk by faith they are unstable in all their ways so number one why do we how what do we benefit from when we have faith what do we get number one the greatest of them all is salvation faith brings you into the kingdom of God listen to me you're watching me you cannot be saved until you believe you believe in Jesus you must believe that he's the Lord and Savior if you're still wondering is it Muhammad is it Buddha is it whatever you are a double-minded man and you're unstable in all your ways oh do I really have to be born again oh I think I got saved when I was a child you are a double-minded person so for you to be born again the first great blessing and I want you to know today salvation is the best gift that you can ever have it is better than money is better than cars better than wife salvation is the best gift so faith the first thing it does it moves you from the world do you understand and brings you into the kingdom of God what does that mean it means that you are on your way to hell but because you have now believed in Christ and his salvation he has now translated you from going to hell now you're on your way to heaven that is how powerful faith is faith moves you from hell to heaven salvation it cleanses you that is why people who are not sure whether I'm born again or not they still feel guilty they still feel condemned 
they still feel like I have to do certain things to become certain things. No, no, no. But if you believe that I am born again. And why am I born again? Because I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I don't feel anything, but he has entered my life. And so as he has entered, Satan has left. So now who am I? I am a new creature. So that is why I'm a new creature. So now you meet somebody and you say, I am born again. Hey, what? They, they laugh at you, but you say, I'm a new creature. The things I used to do, I don't do them no more. So you cannot actually be born again without faith. You cannot enter heaven without faith. You cannot have a relationship with Jesus without faith. Yeah, I'm going there. <laughs> so Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Wonderful. So being saved is not to shamba. No, it's an act of faith. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we are not like people who are bored with life or have many problems. No, it's just that we have been told for by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. So salvation is a gift and you must receive it. You must accept it. So when you say I'm a born again Christian, I love Jesus as my personal savior. Does it mean you don't have struggles? No. But it means that now you are at a better place of dealing with your struggles. Because it is no longer I that liveth, but Christ that lives in me. Ah, I prefer that. Life is so difficult by yourself. Are you listening to me? Look at John chapter 11. Today I have many scriptures, my friend, to show you that this whole thing about Christianity is, is Bible, is, is faith. Faith. So for you to be born again, to be born again, to be saved, you must have faith. John 11, 25 and 26. Give me the Neil 11 translation. We'll see how it looks like. Yeah. So the Bible says, Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. <laughs> am I talking to somebody in the house? So even if you die and you are born again, you will live again. That is the faith I have. I believe that this is Jesus talking to a lady. He says, I'm the resurrection and the life. Yeah, so that is why the most sad death is the death of somebody who is a non believer. Non believer. Why are you called a non believer? Because you don't believe. Yeah. So, believer, we have believers and non believer. So, you can actually say, I'm a believer. Why are you a believer? I have accepted Christ as my personal Savior. Verse 26, the Bible says, Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never ever die. And then he asked, Mother, do you believe this, Mother? And I'm talking to you, you're watching me. Do you believe this? Salvation is by faith. So that is why I don't need to prove to you. I don't need to bring Jesus to you. I don't need to take you to hell. I don't need to tell you where is hell and where is heaven. No, 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 no. Belief, I believe. I have no evidence. I have no um, uh, uh, explanation. It's, it, I don't have tangible way of explaining it. I just believe. Yeah. John chapter 3 verse 16. John chapter 3 verse 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think? At home, are you listening to me? You are a believer. You are not a normal person. A 
and don't ever be fooled that somebody who does not believe is the same with you a man who walks by faith and a man who walks by sight are not the same and that is why if you keep trying to explain yourselves to non-believers you're wasting your air and your mouth and your saliva yeah you can't explain to an energy and arguing with them is an explain unexplainable unless they believe and join us and experience what we experience for themselves you can't experience faith for somebody else it has to be your own experience yeah. so look at this for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes believes yeyote aminie yeyote anybody a child a grown up an old man a woman a, a, an indian a, a, a chinese whoever believes the ticket is believing faith whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life that's the power of faith it makes you move from death to life everlasting life oh yeah i keep i have been telling people the work that will remain is the work of jesus the church yeah you can see people are closing shop yeah uh, hotels are closing down whatever and, no, and people have been told no work go schools have closed but as we have been working from the day it was before it was announced when it was announced when it is ongoing we have been working working for the savior working for jesus just because we believe in him we have life we work for the Lord all day long <laughs> work for the Lord work for the Lord work for the Lord all day long that is why the greatest person in your life is a person who feeds your faith the person who tells you serve the Lord. Oh, yes. The person who tells you you are going to go to heaven. Amen. The person who tells you that Jesus is alive. Amen. Look at the first benefit. It's so mind blowing. Like I was a normal guy. I was on my way to hell. I was an ordinary jama in the mta. But because of faith, somebody just shared with me about Jesus. I said, okay, I believe him. I believe in him. Okay, let me receive Jesus. And look at me now. My whole life has been changed because of walking with Jesus. What a change. Yeah. We, it's not like we are not going to school. We have gone to school, but because of our belief in Jesus, we, this Jesus, we believe that we are supposed to serve him. We believe that we are supposed to move all over the world preaching. I have gone to many countries, not because of I'm a doctor, medicine and all that. I've gone to preach because I have believed in Jesus. That's what it does to you. Number two. Number two. I feel like screaming. Hey! I believe in Jesus. Yeah. Work for the Lord all day long. I told you. Number two, because of time. Yeah. <laughs> Your bundles. Your Wi Fi. Beautiful. Faith is your access to the supernatural world faith is your access to the supernatural world let me tell you there is a supernatural world yeah there is a supernatural world and that what does the word supernatural mean let it not throw you off balance it means you are a natural person then as something super comes on you do you understand like superman you can now fly you can do what other human beings cannot do 
that is what supernatural is so you want to enter into a supernatural world you must enter by faith so that is what Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 it says but without faith it is impossible to please him please who God so you can't please him without faith without believing and then he says for he who comes to God he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him so what is this reward this reward is the supernatural life yeah if you come to God in faith and you believe and then you seek him he says I will reward you and what are the rewards of God supernatural life supernatural life supernatural life supernatural provisions supernatural business growth supernatural marriage like what is naturally difficult because of of your belief in God he rewards you with super super on the natural my God father we want your supernatural power of our lives look at this look at this scripture John 7 38 John 7 38 yeah this is Jesus words of Jesus my Jesus my Lord mm, my Savior you know there is a time I was working I we wanted to uh, do our balcony and uh, it was one of my scariest um, I used to feel like hey are we going to really uh, slap this thing because it was very expensive our our balcony so I, I I told God you know I stood there and I told God I believe in you reward my belief in you because this is just belief I'm believing in you reward my belief I couldn't believe it when we slapped it debt free believe eh, but it's because you are a pastor my friend listen listen stop shut up shut up don't say those things this is available to you the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever whosoever you are included whosoever believes in him will not perish in poverty will not perish in in lack will not perish in joblessness no whosoever believes will not perish yeah <laughs> so go back to my scripture so look at John 7 38 he who believes in me as the scriptures has said he who not pastors who believe in me no he who we have many pastors who don't have faith many they don't believe even when they come to me some of them they ask me what are you doing to grow the church what are you doing for this I say I believe I mean it's God they say I know I know God okay tell me another thing you do but it's just believe 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 I feel like entering the, 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 the camera and coming to your house and tapping you tapping you I, who is watching I want to go there and just tap you and tell you my friend you can change the surrounding of your house just by believing God you begin to believe God I am not going to be poor you start believing God I'm not going to be a useless person you start believing God and you start making practical steps so he says he who believes in me as the scripture said out of his heart out of his where heart will flow rivers of living water have you ever seen rivers of living water flowing from a human being no it's a supernatural thing <coughs> yeah river nyando is flowing out of your heart or Tarakanidi river I don't hope there are those rivers <laughs> pastor Charles you know sometimes you tell me things I don't believe Huh? River Nkoroi River Zambezi out of if the Bible says he who believes in me as the scripture has said 
out of his heart that is why i believe everywhere i go i must bring life everywhere i go i'm a, it's a faith i have yeah, yeah, yeah i don't feel like somebody should bring life to me no 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 i feel like i am a source of life yeah so when i come around you people you must have life hey i pray for somebody here today may you i pull your life from the ordinary to the supernatural i will pull your life from the natural to the supernatural a life of faith a life where rivers of living water flow out of you a life where you send money like without thinking without calculating you send people money say take this two thousand eight take this one thousand eight yeah without thinking because you're, you're sure that even as i distribute i have a river that is flowing in me the river of life what is money look at you you have to calculate take a coin uh, whatever calculator you're walking in the supermarket you are calculating you say no remove this you can start like that but as your faith is growing you begin to see the rivers of living waters are flowing through you shamanda kabaya sit down yeah yeah that is how i have always lived I remember one time I, I wanted a car. I just walked into a, a car bazaar. I didn't have a shilling. No shilling. No shilling. Just me. I walked. I saw this nice Mercedes Benz. Yeah. You know, I opened it. I, I mean, I ignited it. From no money. I moved around it, then I asked how much. Then the figure he gave me, I said, hey, that's too much. I said, this is my offer. I didn't have the money. I said, this is my offer. I gave an offer. Then he said, ah, no, 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 no. Even tomorrow somebody is coming. So I laid hands on it. I said, this car is my car. And I left. Pastor Masi, I remember, I think she was pregnant with either the first child or the second. I don't know but she was pregnant so after uh, like two or three months the guy i left him I, I laid hands on the car i said this is my car and i left yeah two months the car has not gone i think the guy called me just when pastor masi had you know been blessed with the baby and then i said oh no sorry you can sell it i don't want it now man i have a baby you know doubt no no he said nobody buys the car they say they are coming they never come pastor come back and take the car what was your offer okay that offer is okay come let's discuss yeah <laughs> so i said i'll think about it i didn't have even the money of the offer so i called somebody i said let's go and negotiate for this car then when we went with the guy the guy said, I've come with my checkbook. I'll write the first installment for the car. Yeah. And then I don't know either somebody else said, oh, had Pastor Jim is buying this car. I said, oh, I've paid this. I've paid that. When I left like this, it was fully paid. Yeah. Supernatural. I had no money in the account. Actually, I drove the car to my father. And when he saw it, he said, hey, how are you going to be fueling the car? I say, if God gives me the car, he gives me the fuel. I am praying for, for bustings of miracles in Harvest Family Church. Anybody who is going to be listening to me, you're, there is going to be like, uh, what do you call it? Like, yeah, a vo springs, springs of miracles, like popcorns. It's going to pop up pew, pew, pew. everywhere, the place, everywhere are going to start having things that they never thought that they can have because of the supernatural kind of life that God has called us to live. Look at Mark chapter 11 verse 24. My time is gone so sorry guys and I have, I have only done two points. Mark 11. Faith, faith, faith. Yeah. 
That's why many people can't pay tithes. It's because they don't believe. Yeah, they calculate everything. Look, I can give you testimonies. And the person who remembers most of those testimonies is Pastor Masi. But I can tell you times we have cleared our bank account. Why are you clearing the bank account? God has spoken to me. Ah, can God tell you that? Yes. <laughs> tell everybody that no but for you he can tell you because of what he wants to bring out of you and also God wants to expose you to a supernatural life that's what you, many people don't know so look at Mark 11 24 the Bible says therefore I say to you whatever things you ask when you pray whatever things things you ask when you pray believe that you have you will receive them and you will have them is that natural that's not natural that you believe what you have asked and then you receive it and you have them but where is it I just believe I have them I have received it <laughs> supernatural so faith is your access to the supernatural world do you want to live a supernatural life Oh, I'm asking you a question. Do you want to live a supernatural life? Yeah. By faith. Forget about this thing of looking at people. Looking at Pastor Jimmy, he's my source. No, 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 no. Look at God. Oh, yeah, if Pastor Jimmy can just pay me this much, that will be the end. You'll only receive that and then that's it. That is your, that's your level. Yeah. But if your faith is in God, he ushers you into the supernatural world supernatural world supernatural world the world of the supernatural beautiful do you want another one number three number three supernatural supernatural I want somebody to join faith with me right now that God will usher you into the supernatural world stretch your hands towards me right now on the screen father I pray that from today, every spirit of doubt is dead. We kill it. And I pray that you will pull these guys out of a natural life into the supernatural. I will, I will even be, I want to go higher in the supernatural life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout, Amen. Yeah. Look, don't say Pastor Jim is preaching this message. He's just uh, trying to excite the people. He's just trying to make uh, the people his false hope. What, what is false hope? Hope is hope. And we have hope in God. Yeah, you can't have hope in God and you call it false. Because God is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above all that you may think or even ask. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I'm going to believe God that many of you, you will buy nice cars, you will start companies, you will be married, you will believe it. Live a supernatural life. Yeah, even to stay without fornicating until uh, you, you get to marry the person is a supernatural life. Yeah, I believe that I will not fornicate. I will walk my wife down the aisle. That is, that is, that is, that is faith. <laughs> yeah. As a lady, you say, I will be walked down the aisle by a believer, a, a, a somebody who also believes, a strong believer. Yeah. And then from there, you see what will happen. <laughs> Number three. Faith. Faith. It brings you into blessedness. It brings you into a life of blessedness. It brings you into a life of what? Blessedness. What is this life of blessedness? It's, a, it's also another supernatural life. Yeah. A blessed person is a completely different person from somebody who is not blessed. Under all circumstances. To be blessed is to be uh, conditioned under all unfavorable circumstances to prosper and to succeed. So it's COVID-19, but you're doing well. Why? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. 
Yeah. If you have ever called me, one of my main answers is, how are you doing? I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Oh, I'm blessed. Going out, coming in. I'm blessed. January, February, till December. It's called to be blessed. I do, I shall, I shall prosper. Everything I touch. Everything I touch shall be blessed. To say I am blessed, a lot oh, yes. of people cannot even say it. They can't say it. Because when they look around, they feel, hey, where's the blessing? Or you're even afraid of somebody asking you, hey, you say you are blessed. Where is the blessing? But look. He that cometh to me. Hebrews 11.6 He that cometh to me must believe. Huh? That he that cometh to God must believe that he is. I don't need to see the blessing. I can't even tell you this is a blessing. The blessing is not the car, it's not the phone, it's not money. No, it's a something. I, can, I don't know whether it's, it's a spirit or something but it's a very important thing so how do I know you can't be blessed without faith John chapter 20 verse 29 John 20 21 Jesus 29 Jesus said to him Thomas because you have seen me you have believed but he says look blessed are those so you you have never seen Jesus and you have believed the Bible says blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. <laughs> Blessed are those who have not seen yet they have believed. So you are higher than Thomas today because Thomas had to see to believe. You hear people saying that seeing is believing. Uh, that's a wild statement. That's not a God statement. God's statement is, I have not seen, but I believe. Yeah. Oh, I will build a house. Where? I don't know, but I must build a house. By God's help, I will do it. That is where we hear some people laughing at us. Saying that we have a lot of uh, uh, my hopes. My hopes. My hopes. My hopes. In Kikuyu means that Mahop Saufala. They are going nowhere. You say we'll build a church. We will build a cathedral. You will see a <coughs> you'll see um on the minute state of the art 21st century modern futuristic cathedral. You will see it. And then and then when you're saying that you are in a Mabati. And somebody is asking how. And God says, because of that, you are blessed. So what does a blessing do? Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. What does a blessing do? The blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow with it. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow with it. The education of University of Nairobi makes one rich and adds no sorrow with it. LPOs from the government makes one rich and adds no sorrow. Is that what your Bible is saying? What is your Bible saying? The blessing, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich oh yeah that is why you might look like you're doing nothing but because of the blessing is on you it maketh you rich without sorrow 
Yeah, you can have riches with many sorrows. Lots of sorrows. Yeah. What is the benefit of, uh, of wealth that you can't eat? You can't enjoy it. Hmm? Yeah. You have been married. Marriage is supposed to be a nice thing. Yeah, I'm supposed to sit there and see my wife and say, wow. And enjoy. Not to see them and say, I'm, I'm, I'm unhappy. Yeah. Yeah. Or, <laughs> I'm unhappy. You're supposed to look at your children and say, wow. Look at the blessing of the Lord. Yeah. You're supposed to look at your friends and say, wow. Look at the blessings of the Lord. You're supposed to look at your food and say, wow. <laughs> look at the blessings of the Lord. I can eat what I want. Yeah. Look at Proverbs chapter 3. Verses 5. Trust in the Lord. With all your heart. I'm talking about faith brings you into blessedness. Or into a blessed life. So the Bible says trust in the Lord. Or have faith in the Lord. Put your trust in the Lord. With all your heart. Not half of your heart. All your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Verse 6. In all your ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. What does that mean? It means you are blessed. To have your path directed. Are you listening to me? It is amazing. It's a blessing. Yeah, to be directed. It means you are secure. And it means you have speed. Yeah, no time wasting. But when your paths are not directed, you are guessing. You are guessing. Should I should I study this or should I do, what should I do? Should I be a cameraman or should I be a should I marry this one or this one or this one or the other this one? Do you understand? You have no direction, so you lack speed, so you fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, you fall into the wrong hands. And after salvation and after knowing your purpose in life, the next important thing is who marries you or who do you marry? My God. Number four. Number four. Am I preaching or you don't like it? Ah, this is beautiful. Faith makes, I'm talking about what faith can do. If you, are, if you have just joined us, I'm talking about what, what if you make your life a life of faith, what will faith do for you? What, how will it change your life? It will change your life, number four, by making impossible situation become possible. Faith makes impossible situation become possible. When you look at your life, you can see the impossibilities of your life. Oh yeah, you can see. You can see in your life, nobody has ever gotten married. Yeah. Or they start and they stop. You can see in your life, nobody has ever served the Lord. You can look, just look at your lineage. Look at your lineage. You can you know your, your impossibilities in your lineage. You can see the difficulties in your lineage. Nobody, even up to now, your father lives in a rented house. Up to now. So you can see that for you to have a house is part of the impossibilities of your family. Difficulties. Look, look at your life, you, you see. So what can change this impossible situation to become possible is your faith in God. Your faith, in, not your faith in yourself, your faith in whom? In God. Mark chapter 9 verse 23. Mark chapter 9 verse 23. Look at this. Jesus said to him, if you can believe. I mean, if you just can believe. Sister in the house, brother, if you can believe, it's not by force. But if you can just believe, 
then he says all things are possible to him who believes if you can just have faith then all things not some things all 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 what am i what what am i what am i saying all all finances kilakendo all things maudum move mambo yote yawezekana how do you say it in the french all things Tush Jose possible. Hey, come here. We will give him a microphone. All things are possible. Tout chose est possible. Wait, wait, wait. Two shows. Tout chose. Tout chose est possible. Est possible. Est possible. Est possible. Est possible. Tout chose possible yes if we can only believe you can be turned into a pauper from a pauper to a rich man you can be turned into a barren woman to a woman who is full of children you can be turned into an impossible situation from an impossible situation to a possible situation if only you can believe if you believe you can you can own an aircraft i'm preaching most kenyans don't own aircraft no 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 most kenyans don't own they own parcels and vids if you put the number of parcels and vids and uh and uh pro box and um, all these small small vehicles that bring problems on the road and border border many christians believe in that but you can you can be blessed to buy a car without loans that and without stealing and to own homes without stealing and to become a landlord without stealing the blessing of the lord that maketh rich it is something that has never been seen in your family but because you believe all things are possible good shows a possible to shoot impossibilities mark 15 28 look at that mark 15 28 actually i'll finish with this point because of time mark 15 28 because i don't want the guys who count bundles to fall off as i'm preaching god is going to speak to somebody to sow a special seed you see the amens go down when you hear such things you you you, you must trust god and say look i'm moving into the realm of faith i'm going to give something strong that my finances will never go down again look at mark 15 28 so the scripture was fulfilled which says and he was number no did i say mark 15 28 mark 15 28 he was numbered with that no 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 no, I don't, I, no, no, no. 11 I think 11 look for 11 28 I know okay let's go to Luke 1 37 I don't know why I wrote that one impossible situations impossible situations are becoming possible look at that can we read together one two three the Bible says for with God oh you're not reading with me for with God nothing will be what important why don't we believe these scriptures huh? Joe why can't we believe these scriptures for with God nothing nothing not building not uh, uh, sickness nothing will be impossible 
So when you begin to walk by faith, you enter into the realm of moving impossibilities into possibles. Yeah. Yeah. When we were coming to buy this land, it was around 50 some, I think 60 million when I started negotiating. I had zero. Zero. Zero million. And I was negotiating. I, actually, one of the, 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 actually the guy who was selling to us, Amwendi, he looked at me and, at some point and said, "Where pass on Konam Chenzo? Konam Chenzo? I said, Kwanini? I said, I'm serious. I'm buying the property. Yeah. Zero. And in four years, we had paid it off. Yeah. Off. Little by little. Yeah. Me, I've not seen those filthy rich people in my church. But they are going to become. You are going to become a filthy rich man. One day you will be holding one project by yourself. You'll be saying, I'm the one building. I'm the one building the, the cathedral in Nakuru. Yeah, I'm, I'm me. It's my project. So I put my fundis. You just tell me the design. I put fundis. I've put everything is on me. I'll have those people here. You see, with God, one, one yeah, one million dollars. You put one million dollars into the thing. Yeah, believe it. For with God. With your education, it is impossible. With your family background, impossible. With your, with your, with your, it is impossible. With your, with your, with your, with your uncles in America, with the government, it's impossible. But when it comes to God, nothing. The one who made the heavens, the stars, the sun, and the moon. Huh. Yeah. With God. So when you become a man of faith, you walk in you move in the impossible you move in the possible realm the realm of things that you never thought would be possible they become possible can i show you another possible thing that happened matthew 14 25 and then i want us to give now if you want to move into the realm of the imp where the impossible becomes possible now look at this today i will not address the failure of Peter. I'll address the faith of Peter in this story where he walked on the water. The Bible says now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them. Walking on the sea. First of all, that's impossible. How can you walk on the sea? Unless you're a ghost. That's supernatural. So he was coming, walking on the sea. And the sea was, there were waves. And he was walking. Jesus. Superman. The same thing is coming on you. You are doing impossible things. Things that they said they are not possible. You will do them. Things that they thought you will sink in. You are going to walk on them. Yeah. <laughs> I remember some orangos when they were leaving our church. They said that they, we will not be able to finish paying for this place. They were leaving. Yeah. Some of them are even watching us now. When they were leaving, they thought we would collapse. They thought we were going to sink. But rather we were walking on the water by faith. They said that the cloud has left. But they don't know that our faith is not in man. Our faith is in God. Look, I want you to enlarge your thinking, enlarge your faith, enlarge your vision. Because you are about to walk on things that are supposed to sink you. And Jesus has had to walk on it so that all of us can see that impossible things can be possible. So that is what happened. Verse 26. Verse 26. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled. Yeah, you are about to trouble some people. Oh, I feel like preaching in here. You are about to trouble some people. Me, my life has always troubled some people. They are troubled. They are always troubled. How does that guy do it? They say it is Illuminati. One time a guy was standing on the road here, st stopping people and saying, that church is Illuminati. 
I didn't even know what was Illuminati at that time. They said Illuminati. That means that we worship the devil. I mean, how can you believe that the devil can bless people with money or give people money more? More. More than the God of our salvation. Hey, may you perish with your Illuminati. I said, may you perish with your Illuminati. Yeah, those same people, they pass here, they see the building is coming. And this is our first building of over a thousand buildings that we are going to build for Jesus. For Jesus! Because we believe in Jesus strongly. We believe in the work of God strongly. So the disciples were troubled. It is COVID-19 season. These people have fundis everywhere. They were troubled. Churches are not receiving offerings. But these people, they are now erecting another sanctuary. We are there at TGL. We are putting up a huge sanctuary <laughs> with cranes. Troubling. Because when we are supposed to be sinking, we are rather walking. Starting tonight, you will walk on what was supposed to sink. You people, you don't know how I'm feeling, like jumping or running or something. I don't know whether you can feel it at home. Then look at this, verse 27. That is why I like God. I like God. Anybody who attempts great things for God, God is always inviting yeah, Jesus spoke to them saying, hey, hey, relax, be of good cheer. It is I, don't be afraid. It is God, I'm the one moving, don't be afraid. Then, look at this guy, 20 what? 28, Peter answered. He answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, do you understand, this is a believer. <laughs> if it is you, command me to come to you on the what I want to also do an impossible thing yeah command me to also do what you're doing if it is you a lot of a lot of faith people say Lord if it is you make me do this and let me do that yeah say if it is you let me walk on water like you I want to also step on the water then guess what Jesus did verse 29 he said come come I want to finish with that come <laughs> do you want a supernatural life come do you want the impossible to become possible come come and meet our God come and meet our Jesus you see he would have just sat in the boat but there is always a corresponding action for men of faith do you want to walk in supernatural wealth? Come. Yeah. Do you want to, to, to be somebody who's walking in, in, in wealth that you don't understand? Like you, you can't tell people, like you can't explain. You can't explain how you got that job. Come. Just do what is the action that needs to be done. Come. Pay your tithes. S step out of the boat. Leave the crowd alone. I'm sure everybody was telling Peter, don't go, don't go. Well, hey, have you ever seen it? Hey, don't go. Don't, you'll sink, you'll sink. The Bible says, and when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Stop there. He started walking on the water, going to Jesus. A normal, ordinary man like you and I, somebody who's even going to deny Jesus a few uh, days from then he is not walking on the water he's doing something supernatural he is doing an impossible situation an impossible thing something that has never been done I've tried it before it didn't work I was in Mombasa and I said in the morning I was praying I said Lord today I want to also walk on this water yeah but the Lord told me you might not walk on this water but you're walking on other waters and you will not sink you will not sink you will do things that are considered impossible and you will not sink 
walking on the water. Guess what? There is a call to you today. Come. Somebody shout, come. Oh, you're not saying it with strength and gusto. Say, come. That's the call. Come out of an ordinary life. Come out of an ordinary life. Come out of a natural life. Come out. Come out. Come and, and walk on something that you could not walk on before. Yeah. When it comes to money, if you want to walk an ordinary, a, a, an extraordinary life, you must become a giver. You must become a tither. When it comes to, 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 to supernatural doings, you, if you want to build, you must start to build. Oh, but I don't have money. If you have the land, go and negotiate whatever. Start. It's not in the kingdom of God. It doesn't start by provision. It starts by vision. Because God is only committed to take care of the vision that he has given to you. When I was, my vision to marry, I had zero shillings. 10,000 10, shillings. And do you, do you know what happened? When I told God I want to get married, and this is my budget, he said, come. Do you know what was a come? Sow your 10,000, the money you have. Sow it as a seed. I said, hey! I remember calling Pastor, but she was in, uh, I went to Simia Jami. Many of you don't know of Simia Jami. You were born the other day. I went to Simia Jami. I called Pastor Masi. She, she had a phone. I didn't have a phone. My beloved, I said, the Lord has spoken to me to sow my, the 10,000 I was saving for the wedding. He said, let's do it now. Go and do it now. I took my 10,000. I took it to Bishop David. I said, this is my seed for my wedding. He said, oh, God bless you. And I left. Within a week, we, I, I we left without money. Not even just the fare I have. You people, if you want to be in the life of supernatural, you must be mad and crazy. So Jesus told Peter, come. Come. Can you see the guy coming out of the boat? And then you can see Akina John saying, hey, brother. You see, now many of these are your, even your parents, even your parents can be these people. They are always afraid of you stepping into something that is risky. How will you be eating? How will you be whatever? I don't care. God will take care of us. And I'm here to tell somebody, God will take care of us. He will take care of us. He will take care of us. Shamaya Dabaya. Is it working? Is it is it working? It's working. It started working. Yeah. When I was sowing my car, my first car, as a seed, some people who love me, they love me. They were saying, hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Who does that? Too soon. Hey, are you sure? You people this faith of yours what is this yeah think twice and I gave it yesterday I drove into my parking and I said Lord you mean all this is mine Please, let's give an offering. I can, I'm, I'm about to go mad right now. The man was walking. Now, to this morning, I am calling you. Come. Come into a life of faith. Come. Yeah. Come into a life of faith. I want to give you, you to give your normal offering. Give your normal offering. Give your tithe now.
Hallelujah. Which is that song you want to play? Hallelujah. Hmm? A faithful song. Full of faith. One made the blind to see. I wanted to give now. It's I'm waiting for you to give now. Of me. It's moving here in front of me. I wanted the to give now. into the life of the supernatural so I wanted to give now you can go off give and then come back I want to tell you something else I believe in you you're the God of miracles I believe in you I believe in you Come on, give, give, give. I'm waiting for you to give. shifting my finances over the years just because of my giving I'm telling you so I want everybody giving so you can fall off and give give what you can but I want to take a special offering as you're giving now I want to take a special offering now I want people who can pledge money and give this week and I'm and you're going to write a text to the number that is on your screen now and tell them this is my pledge I want you to pledge and I want you to name your pledge you know name it like either you want financial something whatever it is that you feel you want to believe God for. I want you to believe God for that so I want you to name your pledge and I, we are giving towards our building we are giving towards our building amen we are giving towards our building but I want you to pledge I want people who can pledge 50,000 and above 30,000 and above 10,000 and above yeah 50,000 and above just write a text or call the number somebody is waiting to receive your call now and say I want to pledge this amount and then they're they're going to ask you how do you intend to pay it do you want to deposit it in the account do you want to use the pay bill and all that and we are giving towards the building so I want people who can pledge 10,000 and above 5,000 and above 3,000 and above a thousand and above and give in this course of this week and let it be a faith gift faith gift like I'm believing God that I will do what is impossible in our family I will do what is impossible in our family as I build God's house this is not money to me it's for the building of God's house like you believe in the building of God's house yeah so that we can push it further father we want to push it further so I want you to give now or to pledge now you're saying I want to pledge 50,000 and above 
you have to say it you have to say it so that we can know you can know some of you are saying oh i'll pledge but i'll not say saying is also faith yes. saying that i'll give a hundred thousand i'll give 200 i'll give a million shillings that is also faith you'll be surprised yeah so i want you to send a text to the number put the number right there let it stay there for the pledge you write for pledging for pledging call or text this number now we are waiting for you to do it i'm about to close i'm about to close and this week step out by faith step out by faith yeah so i want you to pledge towards the building 50 a hundred a million whatever i know god has given me millionaires you will be giving in millions of dollars not even kenyan shillings yeah for god's work oh yeah i've not even asked you to give for me no 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 for god's work believe in god's work ha! and do it so i'm waiting for you to send your pledge twenty thousand ten thousand fifty a hundred uh five thousand believe and do it i but master if i give how will i survive you watch watch i'm telling you god will never ever fail you no he'll never fail you oh he has never failed before oh yeah so i want you to pledge and this this new series is going to usher us into the life of supernatural this new series will usher us into a life of the impossible becoming possible this new series will usher us into what was the next point a life of blessedness a life of blessedness salvation yeah salvation yeah access to the supernatural yes yes i believe it please i want to close so i'm waiting for you to pledge and then i want to pray for you now in the name of jesus father thank you for every believer who's watching me their faith has been dormant you have sent me to stir it up you have called me and sent me here to stir up the gift stir up the gift the gift of faith that is in them thank you father i pray as they give from today it will not be a, a religious giving it will be not just a giving that they give religiously it will be faith-based giving faith-based the lord i'm sowing seeds i'm giving into into this part of my life i want god to come through for me in this part of my life bless the tithers it it takes faith to pay your tithes may god bless you as you pay your tithes father as they pledge cause them to be a river of life cause them to be a river of life let money come through them let uh, jobs come through them in the name of jesus let them ooze with life in the name of jesus if you have something supernatural you're believing god for you must pledge i'm telling you you're believing god for something supernatural i am also going to sow a seed i'm not even going to sow it in our project i'm going to sow it in a higher place for us because i want more churches and more buildings yeah i'm also going to sow a seed when you sow the seed i'll also gather the seed and also sow the seed somewhere <laughs> yeah because me i believe in the, in those things completely yeah so father thank you in jesus name amen now i want to pray for somebody who wants to give their life to christ you are saying i want to receive salvation by faith repeat after me say lord jesus lord jesus thank you thank you for dying for me for dying for me today today i believe i believe you are the savior of the world the savior of the world save my soul save my soul heal my soul heal my soul in the name of jesus in the name of jesus from today from today, i am born again i am born again write my name write my name in the book of life in the book of life i am born again i am born again amen amen i'm a believer i'm a believer now if you have 
break that prayer, I want you to also call. There are some numbers that will show up there. You can even text and say, I've given my life to Christ. I need to talk to someone. And somebody is going to call you and talk to you. And your life will never be the same again. I'm telling you. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever. Be the same again. Be the same again. I will never be the same again. your hands towards me father I believe with everybody who needs healing receive your healing who needs provision receive your provision now who needs divine help receive divine help this week this week expect a miracle from God by faith it is possible in the name of Jesus Christ may God bless you as you wait on the Lord as you believe in the Lord and as you expect a miracle may that miracle locate your home now in the name of Jesus I will never be the same again have a good afternoon God bless you and see you on Tuesday I can never return Yes. He has officially begun the series Faith Right Believing. And you know, one of the things that he talked about is that faith is believing in God. And when you believe in God, I mean, that's when, I mean, when you start believing, when you start believing in God, impossible things begin to become possible. Wow. I believe that my man of God, Pastor Jimmy Masharia, has been a great blessing to you and yes. that your faith has been activated from small faith to big faith Amen. and you will start believing God for supernatural things yes. in Jesus mighty name. You know something else that he mentioned is when you have faith, it increases your level of blessedness which is such an amazing thing. You know, he gave us a testimony of his life story, how his faith increase, increased rather his blessedness. He, he, he walked into a car bazaar and saw a Mercedes Benz and had faith that he will buy it. Three months later, he bought it without paying for it, which is such an amazing testimony. I want to encourage you guys, if you receive any testimony throughout this entire week, we want to encourage you to share it with us via our WhatsApp community. And we will be sure to air it out next Sunday during our worship experience. The WhatsApp community number is right there on your screen. So if you have any testimony that you have received throughout this entire church beyond the four walls, 
results be sure to share with us on our whatsapp community number just send a video of what the lord has done for you during this season and we will be sure to share with the world and tell the world what god has done for you and one of the ways of activating your faith is by listening to the word of god you have to be an active listener to the word of god and this same message on faith is going to be available right here on youtube yeah. and also on facebook this is not a message that you listen to once keep on listening to this message throughout the week and the more you listen to the message the more your life will begin to change and the more your faith will be expanded and just wow. to remind you maybe if this is your first time and you're watching um this live broadcast our man of god pastor jimmy masharia is also available on podcast wow. when you go to podcast it's very very simple yeah all you have to do is go to google play store and make sure you download podcast and search for pastor jimmy masharia make sure you subscribe and you will find amazing amazing messages on podcast listen to those messages and your life will never ever be the same again wow and we also want to encourage you to tune in for all our virtual services this coming week, we have Tuesday, our Biazo prayer service. On Friday again, we have our second edition of the Biazo service. As Pastor Daisy has said, the only way to continually increase your faith is by continuously listening to messages. So you can join us every Tuesday and every Thursday friday for our virtual experience and you will be you will be blessed rather as you join us for this and on saturday we have such an amazing show that always airs that is called club david from 8 p.m that is our musical experience with a dj we have live mixes dj requests and real topics coming right onto your facebook screens Wow, thank you so, so much for being with us from the start of this broadcast up to the end. Just know that we love you so, so much and we're looking forward to coming back to church. But at the moment, we still have to do church beyond the four walls. Please remember to stay at the top because that is where you, you and, and I, I do belong. belong. Have, have a, a blessed great day. Week and God bless you. <laughs> great day. Yeah, great day. <laughs> <Okay. just> <laughs>